Amid the ongoing risk of financial crime, Doc Fox advocates for South African business owners to embrace the Financial Intelligence Center Act, that's FICA, with various industries at risk of exploitation by money launderers, terrorists, and proliferation financiers, FICA stands as a shield to businesses. It plays a crucial role in identifying the proceeds of money laundering, terrorist funding, and tax evasion, and the people behind it. Let's talk more about this with the uh, Risk and Compliance Director of Doc Fox. That's Hawken McEwen. Hawken, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Lovely chatting to you again. I see that uh, many people will see, I mean, compliance in general is not cheap. It costs money, but they also see it as an administrative burden. But uh, FICA has never become e more crucial than it is today. Absolutely. I think, yeah, compliance is often seen as a bit of a regretted cost. However, if we consider the recent grey listing, the reason that came about is that really the rest of the world don't see us as having a handle on the financial crime in the country. And the only way we can do that is by identifying it, reporting it, investigating it, and ultimately prosecuting. The way that happens in South Africa is through the Financial Intelligence Centre Act, or FICA as we tend to know it, um, and that places requirements on certain companies to really understand the identity of their client, understand where they're getting their money from, their source of funds, and doing a bit of a risk assessment to see how likely it is when they do business with this person or this company uh, for them to be actually be embroiled in any kind of financial crime. The challenge we've got is that hasn't really been happening. Um, many companies either don't understand the requirements or aren't really doing it fully because of that cost or just because of the lack of understanding around the why and then the how. Um, that ultimately has led to this grey listing of South Africa. Yeah, but now, I mean, how, how do you help people? How do we help people change their view?